Mine was about how I'm going to achieve my goals. I thought I'm going to be in constant competition. Mm -hmm. It's either me or the rest of the world, right? So I'm part of a food chain. And then you have this song that goes up in your head. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. You know it, right? We still have to find people focused. Okay, so 2013 came along. And I just came back from India, and I was super confused. But all I know is that I want to interact with people, and I want to generate good. And this is what, what I've learned. If I have my ability, and I know exactly what I want to do, and I can do it by myself, right? But why should I? We all have our vision. We all have our Mount Everest, just like Lama said. Why shouldn't we conquer them together? So we're all creators. And some of us use this muscle and practice it more than the average people. But we need to choose how we're going to practice it. Either we stay in our comfort zone, or we're going to do things a bit differently. Why though? Never mind. OK. So exactly <coughs> what I chose to do. I've decided to interact with my fear. I've decided to continue smiling mm -hmm. and practice everything that I want to do, everything that I want to achieve. So this is Lead for Peace. This is the reason, I think, the essence of why I'm here in the first place. This is how I got to know Google Campus and the international Google family abroad. Um, basically, what we did is that Lead, which is a youth leadership um, development organization in Israel that um, decided to go on board with the Rotary International family and to have tons and tons and tons of kids, 160 kids from 23 countries to come here for a hackathon for peace. And it was mind blowing basically. And the second thing is my second experiment, I would say, is what this is here. So we had our first Teachers Day in Israel and it was celebrated as a national holiday, just like what, what I mean, just like we have Mother's Day or Valentine's Day anywhere else, which is not Israel, thank God. Um, so basically, we decided that we want to change the way we perceive teachers and teaching in Israel. So this is what I've learned from my experiences. I learned about how to reach out for help. I did not know how to do that. I thought that I was in a constant competition. I learned a lot about how can I keep my standards this high and even higher because I'm working with professionals. I learned a lot about how to be inspired while working. And thank God for this event because right now, you guys don't know, the ones that don't know me, I feel like I'm in my own bar, bar mitzvah. <laughs> because all of the people here, well, at least most of them, are my partners in one way or another. We're all working together. We're all trying to generate good. Even those of you who don't know me yet, <laughs> okay, my name is Tal, and I'm here to recruit you. So let's talk about old world versus new world. Old world, if you want to achieve your goals, if you want to conquer, if you want to um, accomplish something, defeat people, right? <coughs> it's a competition. It's a food chain. Well, welcome to the new world. If you want to learn things and you want to create, come on board with us, okay? There are a lot of things that need to be done. Thank God there are a lot of dark corners that need to be lit up. So come on board, bring your sparks, bring your inspiration. You're welcome. We need you, OK? So this is my New Year's resolution. I'm going to continue doing this, and I'm going to bring as many people aboard as much as I can. Thank you guys so much. You're so welcome. Thank <laughs> you.